Well, you all remember I put out a video a few months ago on a shotgun that was being built for me in the village. We do have an update on the shotgun and I hope it excites you as much as it has excited me. We've really made a lot of progress and we've achieved quite a lot. On the shotgun, we cleaned up the rough work a little bit more and got the woodwork looking as good as I needed it to be, then also looked deeper into the internals. Rough edges of the metal bits were deburred and everything was put back together for initial tests.
unfortunately we did have some disappointments the very first tests only gave me a click uh, i didn't even bother to save the video for that there were primer strikes but no ignition really painful On the second test date, after some filing and tweaking of the internal firing mechanism, I finally got a good bang. I'm really quite excited. Uh, unfortunately, shots we attempted after this first you know, one did not work. No success. Anyhow, the shotgun was returned to the gunsmith and he was able to increase the strength of the firing spring. Uh, he inserted a better firing pin, he centered everything properly and generally improved the working of the gun. He also did the varnishing of the body and also the bluing of the steel that he had used and the barrel. This is why man and I'm here in the wilds of my good country, my continent Africa. Um, I have here with me a, mus a shotgun locally fabricated, locally made for me out of the barrel of my Mossberg 500, the good old smooth bore 20 inch barrel of my Mossberg 500A. Um, all the internal components are locally sourced, locally fabricated but they are quite safely made. The guy who made this actually um, is very skilled and he knows his stuff. It's a local, it's a fabric, it's a single shot break action shotgun. It's not finished yet. We want to do a test of the function and at least check and confirm that it fires. Um, it's still going to be polished. It's still going to be blued. The steel is going to be blued and locally when they blue steel, what they do is you no know, smear it with engine oil and then put it in the fire and then it blows the um, steel. The wood is locally fabricated, locally sourced. Uh, this is local wood and it's very good, very strong, very solid wood. And as you can see, it's beautiful. This, this is really beautiful. Um, the wood is still going to be varnished, still going to be polished. So uh, by the time that is all done and all the components are tightened, everything properly tightened, I'm sure this would make a lovely, lovely moment of truth. I'm shooting this. Let's see how it works. Stop cocked and here goes. It didn't pop it out. I was hoping it would, you know, like open poop. I thought that's what I was hoping it would do, but it didn't do that. So, okay, so that was the first um, shot from this, and I think it performed very well. Recoil was mild, though that was a soft, that was a very small uh, shell, but recoil was mild. Okay, I'm loading another round. Remember to load half cock first, it's now fully cocked. So I'm shooting again. did not shoot. We had a primer strike, but it did not shoot. So, ready to shoot.
Primer strike, but not very good primer strike. Break action shotgun ready to test again after the failures the last time. And um, it's been cleaned up and polished. It's also been smoked. It's also been blued. So. Very important, ears. Protect your hearing. You only have one set of ears, <laughs> so you must protect your hearing. Yeah. I'm shooting now. I had left home before he finished all this and he went out on his own to carry out the final function test. Please pardon the quality of the video. Very good. It's automatic. Okay. Very good. Hello? I am very happy that we are finally being able to get the shotgun successfully firing multiple consecutive shots. We are getting good strong primer strikes but no Primer blow out and then you know no swelling, uh, solid performance. I look forward to going to fire this shotgun myself very soon.